Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Brood War Ladder Battle. It's time for your daily dose, so buckle up. We've got Flash spawning here in the top center. His opponent is going to be Noob down here in the bottom right. If you don't know Noob, he's about 2,500 on the ladder, just one MMR above Light. Uh, when I last checked, that doesn't mean that he's as good as Light or better than Light. He's just... A very strong ladder Protoss player. He has competed in multiple ASLs in the past, but hasn't had very good results as of yet. But he's a great test here for Flash. Now we're gonna look at a bunch of games between him and Flash. He was lucky enough to get like three, four games versus Flash on the ladder on the first day that uh, everyone discovered that this was indeed him. He is him, Flash, right here. If you don't know about uh, Flash being back, definitely check out my previous video. I'll link it up here. We even had a translated video from uh, Jinjin in that video. Kind of explaining how players figured it out. And uh, some announcements and all that good stuff. So we know that this is Flash. We know he is back. And he's been playing a bunch of games on the ladder. He's going to be coming back to streaming, etc, etc, etc. Link again up there in the top right-hand corner. So... We've got Noob here, who's going to be a good contestant to just see what Flash is like uh, right now, where his level is at, because what we've learned from those announcements is that Flash is planning to come back to streaming, and he's going to be focusing really, really hard on one versus one, which means he'll likely be playing in upcoming tournaments. So it's very cool to see his early performance just right as he's coming back so we can have something to compare to uh, when he does finally perform in ASL uh, when he does start to compete in different tournaments and that uh, hopefully we'll see him in the KCM and stuff too that'll be very exciting noob here is going to start off with a nexus first and he's going for a pretty greedy play here with the gateway first are we going to see flash pull SCVs here what does he think is the proper response to a greedy Protoss player such as this. He's gonna bring three Marines, two SCVs so far, and there come three more. Unfortunately, one of this, these SCVs has actually already been damaged. He starts his CC at home, and he's gonna mine with just one SCV on gas here. So it's not a full commitment. He's not pulling a huge amount of SCVs. Uh, and he's not building the bunker super close to the Nexus either. He's just going to put the pressure on while he starts the CC back at home. And see what kind of damage he can do here. Putting on that little pressure. Zealot and probes are going to be pulled here. Oh, the Zealot is actually is going to get focused down really hard right there. He doesn't even get one Marine kill. Okay, he kills actually two Marines at the end. Two probes go down. Um, but that does lower the count of Marines quite significantly. We've only got two here now. And one of them is very low on that HP. Uh, we can't afford to lose some probes. But if we lose some probes and the Nexus, then we're in a very bad spot. We have to make a decision now. Do we sack some probes to kill this and prevent this from happening? Um, or do we just pull all the probes out of the natural, give it up, and just try to play uh, from a one base... Uh, you know, pushing out here against all the bunkers. He stops the bu the bunker from going down. He's pulling the probes. He's deciding here it's worth it to just sack some probes to stop this. Unfortunately, that does end up finishing. And we will be hitting this Nexus now. How long do we have left before the Dragoons can be out here with the Singularity Charge? Not too long. Four Marines in the bunker. A fifth here standing outside. The SCVs are going to add a little bit of that DPS. Need to bring that Dragoon here forward to, to actually stop these SCVs from hitting that. That's free DPS right now, and that shouldn't be allowed. Uh, that should be illegal. He did pull the uh, probes out of the natural, but as you can see, back at home, Flash already has... Oh, whoa, whoa. Pylon over here. What was he thinking? Was he going to try and, like, proxy some gateways and uh, do some shenanigans here? Well, that gets completely shut down by Flash. A s uh, interesting move here. He lets the pylon finish, which I'm kind of shocked about, honestly. Um, we've seen this before. Protoss throwing down like three gates uh, in a proxy location and just trying to 
uh, bowl over the Terran player with a bunch of dragoons. Um, while can, while they're, they think that they've got them contained uh, in the natural. But Flash a little bit too smart for that. Look, he's even checking everywhere. So smart here. Just making sure that he finds everything. I'm going to bring the two Marines back here to just get rid of that a little bit quicker. Make sure that pylon goes down before the dragoons break out. We're going to be retaking the Nexus here. But we did sack some probes. And since the CC was built pretty quickly. Like... We actually have way more SCVs than probes right now, which is not a good sign. A very good spot here for a Flash. Second factory. We've got the eBay back at home. Ready for any sort of follow-up play, but there really is not much. I think we'll see double expand, yeah. Double expand here for Noob. Really his only choice. With no Robo, no Reaver, or anything like that. He's just going to put on pressure with the Dragoons and hope he can deal um, enough like damage. Slow down Noob, or slow down Flash enough here. To the point where he can... Okay, he's going to dive in. He's going to go for the tank. The tank was put in such a far back position, but it will get dove upon. Two Dragoons are sacked and one uh, Zealot going to run into the main here. He does kill that one tank. An SCV running through will spot out everything. A very nice scout here for Flash. He's even got another SCV out on the map, which he can send in at a later date to just reconfirm exactly what the tech is. You can see he sees the robotics and everything. Almost loses a second Dragoon here at the front as well. All right, that Zealot finally went down. I might have to picture picture that. Uh, see how many kills that actually got. Um, hmm, I mean, this is, I'm not sure what to say about this game right now. Who is, like, I definitely think that Flash is ahead, but how much, how far ahead is he right now? Is it unplayable at this point? Or is it still okay? Right now, we've only got two factories. These type of situations are really hard for me to judge. As a Zerg player, it's like, are we are we gonna just bowl him over? I think that might be the case. More gateways are gonna finish, but it's two factories to two gateways. And yeah, the Dragoons just aren't incrementing out quickly enough. Um, plus, he's not standing on the high ground waiting for this. The Dragoons are gonna come up here. He's gotta pull back and just buy as much time as possible. Kite this as long as he possibly can. Alright, coming from behind here with a couple of Dragoons. He's going to try and dive on that one that sieged up. He does manage to dive on one. Missing some shots here, unfortunately. And all the Dragoons will die. I think that's just GG. Yeah, he should be tapping out here soon. Vulture's going to lay their mines. Probes up here are just sacrificial. GG is called. A nice little takedown here from Flash. And wow, handling that Nexus first like it was nothing, man. I mean, the, the small commitment here, you rarely see that style uh, of Nexus first shutdown from Terran players. Uh, it's usually either, you know, a, a factory and then vultures being rallied um, with a huge pull of SCVs to just go for it. Or you just take your CC and just kind of be behind. But he didn't really do either. He kept one SCV on the gas. Started his CC and pulled five SCVs and just rallied Marines. And he made it look really, really strong. He actually killed the Nexus with just that. That's pretty low commitment. And he ends up getting a huge SCV advantage. And just being so far ahead that there's really not much that Motive can do. I, I Or not Motive, sorry, Noob. We are going to watch a game of Motive a little bit later on, guys, by the way. We've got a few games with Noob. And then at the end, we're going to take a look at a game from Motive. But I saw that uh, Artosis already casted that. So I wanted to get some more context here uh, around that game. Um, rather than just cast the exact same game as Artosis. So we're going to take a look at a bunch of these games. I really want to see all the Flash games uh, when he first starts out, truly, uh, here on Ladder. Because... This guy is going to explode the scene when he finally plays in ASL. And I just want to know all the backstory. And that's what you're going to get. Let's jump into game number two.
Hey guys, Neon Marble Rust is back with a new visual update and gameplay changes. If you haven't seen it before, this is a brand new RTS made by fans of Brood War and this channel. They are looking to recreate the old school RTS feel with an interesting twist. You will manage a complicated economy with many different resources using automation and upgrades as you bring together a strategy to overwhelm your opponent. The game is completely free to play and my link to their stream page is in the description of the video. Thank you to everyone who supports me by downloading the game and thank you to Neon Marble Rust for helping to keep the dream alive. Now back to the video. So handling Nexus first, like it's not even a big deal. Flash showing us some new tech here. And at, and at least how to handle Nexus first one gateway. Um, two gateway might be a little bit harder. Maybe he has some other tech for handling that, but or, or a different uh, method for handling that. But it seems like he really had a great idea with the way that he bunker pushed into the Protoss with just one Zealot incrementing out at a time. Handled it beautifully. Now he's up here in the top left-hand corner. Which map are we on right now? Let's go ahead and take a look. We're on Citadel. Could have uh, could have told you that uh, if I just looked a little bit closer. This is very familiar. We've got the uh, low ground main and natural no high grounds on this map aside from just little ridges but because of these ridges and these uh, walls here Terran is very strong on this map originally when I saw this I was a little bit scared for Terran uh, to be to be playing on this map um, all of the unbuildable terrain this high ground right outside the natural um, pushing over towards the third and then there's a high ground like right along here with unbuildable terrain. That that feels really bad for taking a third base, but Terran players have surprised me a lot. They've managed to find positions like right along here that's very strong for holding the third base when you put a bunch of tanks there. Also, while pushing, if you're setting up tanks on these ridge lines along these... Um, Along these walls, it's super hard to jump your army on top of those things. On top of those tanks, so... Uh, Terran, I think, favored on this map in the uh, final interpretation. Uh, the final verdict here. I think this is indeed a Terran favored map, so we'll see what noob wants to pull out here. First thing first, a zealot... Just being rallied across the map, and he's saving up money, I think, for a Nexus here. So, Zealot Pressure into Nexus No Gas, Engineering Bay, over at the, the Natural here. A very smart, gentlemanly play here from Flash. Taking an eye for an eye here. Protoz so often blocking... Uh, CCs and hatcheries and all of that. It's finally some street justice here. eBay is going to be blocking his Nexus for quite some time. Looks like he will get rid of that before he has the minerals to throw down that Nexus, but quite a bit of lost mining time here and some lost time with the Zealot and not being over on the other side of the map, you know, trying to run by or anything. This is a great setup. Look at that. How are you going to run a Zealot by this? It's just not going to happen. That's your answer. And so the Zealot is just going to do nothing. Two Zealots have been made here in vain. Nothing that they can do to harass Flash here. Who's going to get away with a very crisp gas as fast expand. Um, I'm not sure if this gas was made before the CC, but I imagine that it was made after. He's just getting to it now. We'll be dropping his factory here in just another moment. Already, I would say, in the driver's seat for this game. Noob going to be reacting here by just chasing the probe or the SCV around with the probe. Trying to get that moving shot the best that he can. He's just barely going to get it. There it is. He does get it. Uh, and then 
you know, he's going to be able to hide his tech here. He's building another zealot. Are we going to see him try to bust the bunker, or what are we going to do here? Uh, with four zealots. That seems a little bit wild. Not sure what the plan is right now. Robotics. Go straight into Reaver. Are we going to get range here? I don't see it just yet. So, a robo before range. Um, it does leave you a little open to things like uh, aggressive early attacks. Like, if he was just still building marines here and going for a fake double, he could be in a lot of trouble. But it's two factory here after expansion. Um, he's not going to have vultures right away. So, we have the robo finishing up now. It's definitely going to be that support bay. There it is. Can he get any damage done with this? And how long is it going to be before he has range? Still hasn't started here. Got the observatory. Flash just now getting his first tank out. When armory has started. He just hasn't been harassed at all thus far. I'm sure he's feeling quite good. Having a good amount of SUVs. You can see even on workers right now. His expansion just clicking away here. Endless workers. Comsats are going to start now. So he will fall a little bit behind. But he's done a great job here of just cranking out a ton of SCV production. Zealots. Four Zealots going to be taken into the main. So this is what the plan was with the Zealots. He's going to wait, I guess, um, after he drops the Zealots. He's going to drop, try to kill some SCVs here. And then he's going to... Oh my goodness, this is kind of sneaky, actually. Uh, I kind of like this. He's going to get a few kills right now. You can always pick these up. And once the Reaver comes out, he'll go back and grab that. And then shuttle speed will be done for the follow-up attack. And this is just coming in a little bit earlier than Flash expected. Uh, because he's preparing for the Reaver timing. He's not preparing for four Zealot timing. Wow. Another uh, SCV goes down. Going to pick up again? Not quite able to. And he will fly out. Oh, why is he flying this direction? That's not right. Looks like he's going to lose this. Yeah, that's going down. That is a little bit unfortunate. Um, did we have a Reaver? There it is. Okay, Reaver's over here. Observer is out now. Another shuttle will be made. And its speed is going to finish up. But now we've got turrets everywhere. Just kind of a cute timing here from Noob, actually. Kind of a cute little move, right? We managed to get in there before the turrets were ready. Because... Flash being Flash, he's optimizing the hell out of his build. He's just going to be adding on the turrets only when they're absolutely necessary. And for a Reaver timing, they are perfectly uh, on time. They're just there in the nick of time for a Reaver to come in. But against just four random Zealots being dropped, they were not ready. And I mean, the Zealots didn't do any insane damage but they really did pick off a good chunk of scvs reaver here now for the defense of this third base and flash has gone around in kind of a sneaky way here to the uh, right hand side of this base now he's setting up along this ridge line flash knows exactly what makes this uh map strong for terran you're going to start to hit these probes from over this wall. And it is so hard to dislodge uh, a Terran player from this position. Now, some Vulture is going to fly in there. Um, they're going after these probes, though. Oh, my God. This is so much probe damage already. So many probes were transferred to this base. And the Nexus is almost going to fall already. Yeah, look at how hard it is to get rid of this. He's going to come forward. Shuttle just going to run right past, but this is too late. Yeah, he can kill all of the uh, the tanks here with the Reavers. And he will clear out everything. But the Nexus is gone, and so are all the probes. Still fighting here with some of these um, Marines and Goliaths. 
Finally gonna pick this off. But this is just so much damage. He has done an insane, insane amount of damage here. Now with 10 SCV lead, all he needs to do is sit back at home and start another CC. Keep his upgrades going and he is gonna have a great follow-up. Wait, we don't have an observer. Oh no. To bring this observer back. I think you double expand here as Protoss. Yeah. He is just gonna double expand. You have to do something to try and come back. If Flash just sits there, he's gonna be able to get such an army. Oh, this Reaver attack though. Dealing quite a bit of damage right now. Oh, big hit there. Reaver does go down. But uh, that was reasonable. That was reasonable damage. You can see 46 workers now. Uh, he was up above 50, I think. Oh, drop coming in now to the main base. Going to be pushed away here. A nice little wall from Noob. Make sure that vultures that are landing over here can't just fly right in. This shuttle is going to get taken out eventually, but you can see he kind of evened out the score a little bit here in terms of the overall workers. Uh, actually, evening it out uh, perfectly was right there on 50-50 uh, for a moment. But double Nexus. Uh, he can get his economy back online here shortly and start to add on more gateways. But I'm looking at the gateway count right now, guys. It doesn't look good for Noob. Four factories here. This factory count is about to explode. We've only got five gateways. Four facts to five gates. Uh, I guess with the Reaver um, addition, it does a little bit better. Uh, but you usually want to be like two, three gates ahead of the Terran player. Uh, just as a general rule. It's not a hard and fast rule, but uh, if you're going to be going like Gateway Man uh, with speed shuttles and Reavers, you definitely want to be a few gates ahead. Diving in here, gonna get a couple more probe kills. Keeping an even count here in the workers. This is dead even in terms of the workers anyway, but I think Flash is starting to eke out more and more little edges here as time goes on. The kill on the third base was like the big move that really gave him uh, a fat lead, but it's been since then even now for the most part here by Noob. Trying to move to take the base here in the center left. And I think he's going to get it pretty much uncontested. Great movement here with the uh, tanks and the vultures. He's not super over committing to this, but he's just moving a few tanks here and there. Setting up in great positions uh, with vultures, mines being thrown out in just the right spots to keep new back. Um... Even having the Goliath here with plus two is scary. Uh, if you're going to fly in with that shuttle, two Reavers, you might end up getting splattered. Uh, before the, the turret went down, maybe that was a good landing spot, but Noob was not on top of it, and he's not going to be able to punish this third, or this fourth base, excuse me. And on four bases, we're going to go up to like 10 factories now. That's going to be coming here very, very soon. Bunch of vultures moving around this side and Reavers will be there to counter, but he's just going to go around and set up a bunch of... Oh, I missed a drop, I think. Potentially, I will picture and picture that. Looks like he missed a bunch. Just throw down a bunch of mines on some of these bases to make sure that he can't easily take those. Now, Noob is eventually going to get down here. He is going to get these bases. But it's all about just delaying that as long as possible. You can see we're already getting close in supply here. 131. As soon as that hits about 160, I think we're going to see Flash push here. He's got plus two already. He's working on that plus three. Uh, once plus three, plus two is done. He'll be at about 60 supply. The factory count is growing here, but it's only going to get worse and worse for Noob uh, as time goes on. Flash is just hitting every little... Uh, I here. He's just crossing all his T's and dotting all his I's. He's got plenty of barriers over here. Good tank positioning. So hard to get in on any of this. You can't hit 
uh, with dragoons over that wall. They're just a little bit too far back from the wall to get hit by dragoons. And, dude, this just gets shut down immediately. The uh, shuttle gets picked off right away. Some pretty good targeting there with the Reaver, but hardly gets anything. And a counterattack coming forward here. Is he actually going to pull the trigger on this? I think that would be a bad idea. More shuttles coming out, I think. But this may be the moment when Flash wants to push. Is he ready? Not quite yet. That would be a bit of an anti-timing. He's waiting on Karam boosters. EMPs coming here as well as 3-2. And I think once those upgrades finish, this army will group together and start to really push out. Is Noob going to be ready? It's not looking like it. He will have Storm, however. Let's see the splitting... Uh, of the tanks from Flash, because that's something that all Terran players right now are struggling with, is spreading, like attacking, and then spreading their tanks as they move forward. Uh, it's really hard, a really APM intensive thing to do. A and it can be so badly punished by just a few key storms. So far, the spreading is okay. There's still some really good spots that could be hit here in the back and he's gonna come in and maybe hit them thinking about engaging this he does throw down a couple storms in the front not the best storms here from noob just yet he gets a pretty good one at the back but he's not gonna be able to get a follow-up to actually finish off any of these tanks wow this went really bad for noob actually at the end of this fight flash is looking fantastic he's got so many tanks to back this up and he's already Almost at 160 supply. We're actually behind now in supply for Noob. And Noob is just... I mean, he's grasping at straws here. What can he do? He's starting to transfer workers down here. But if Flash gets over his natural, this game is over. There's no other place to rally units out from. Everything is coming from this bottom left. And Noob, he has to, like, butcher this attack. He has to smash this army to even have a chance right now. And I just, I don't see it happening. Look at Flash actually spreading his tanks. This is very good stuff. Well, that's a great storm there on the left-hand side. Do we have any more storms to follow it up? My God, there's a lot of tanks right now. GG is called. There's just hardly anything here for Noob and absolute domination at the end of this fight. At the end of this game, Flash is massive. He's got so much going here. This is really impressive stuff. Coming back from such a long hiatus, he's already looking so good, guys. I know I want to say, or I said earlier, that it's going to be cool to see, uh, you know, him at the outset. Like, how is he doing when he first comes back? And then how is he going to be doing when he's uh, all prepped and ready for ASL? And, dude, he already looks pretty darn ready. He already looks really, really strong. Is Noob going to be able to take any games off of him? And, and is Motive going to be able to do it? I I just don't know at this point. It's looking really, really nasty here. So far, Noob has just been shut down with pretty much everything he's done. The only thing that went kind of well was the early drop with the, the Zealots. And the later drop with the Reavers in the natural did quite a bit of damage. But other than that, it's just been absolute destruction here the push over on this side was very well planned out super well executed it's exactly what i was talking about just flash he knows man he just knows what is strong on this map and he knows exactly how to abuse it i talked about this last time the last in in the last cast that i did of flash as well is that asl map makers tried to eliminate this man they tried to make sure that he couldn't win another asl but uh in that season where they made a terrible map pool for terran every other terran wasn't able to advance and flash just still unfazed went through and crushed everyone always able to find the bright side of any situation to dominate in any map it's crazy to see, but guys, we've got plenty more games to go. Let's jump into the next one. Flash spawning here in the top left on Dark Origin, and the rust seems to have been firmly shaken off. 
I'm not really seeing too many openings in his play at all. Whereas, uh, you know, Noob here, been getting a little bit dominated so far. I don't think he actually knew at this point that the player he was up against here, this barcode Terran on the ladder was Flash, but after the fact, he must have realized and understood like, oh, that's why this player was so good. That that's makes sense because this this is some serious domination and some great play from our Terran here. So not often that like someone just suddenly shows up on the ladder, you know, a random and plays at that kind of level. That's just not something that happens uh, 25 years into the game. And so it has to be somebody. It has to be someone of note if they're able to bash a uh, noob around like that. And now noob going to send his probe across the map here immediately. Look at Flash's response. He sees the probe. He immediately takes his own gas and he's not going to complete it. He's instead going to fight with the probe and take the later barracks. Now that's exactly, I think, what Noob wants right now. Maybe not exactly what he wants. He would have liked to just steal the gas, but he is going for an early zealot and he's going to push across the map. He's going to come here and try to harass and just slowing down the barracks by a little bit is going to slow down the marine production and give him an op opportunity to maybe get in here and deal some damage. He's trying really hard to deal as much damage to the SCVs as he can right now because every hit he does is going to make the Zealot just that much stronger when it actually gets in here to deal some damage and start this harassment fully. He's just putting like tiny amounts of damage. You see, this one's got 10 HP uh, damage on it, right? It's just got just a, just a couple little pokes on it. That can actually add up and make it easier for the Zealot to get those kills. The factory starts, but we just now get a Marine out. Look at how late this Marine is. There's likely to be only two Marines on the field when this Zealot first arrives. And a second Zealot is already on the way. We'll probably see an eBay block here once again. In the main base, Cybernetics Core is coming up here. Oh, oh no, the Marine. Hold up. Got to pull the Marine in between the uh, Supply Depot and the Barracks here to keep it safe. He goes in between this other gap between the Barracks and the Command Center. Great Sim City here is actually going to help out Flash a lot. Despite making that little bit of an early mistake with the Marine, kind of walking to and fro here in the front, he manages to keep all three alive. Now with two Zealots, though, he doesn't have uh, nearly as much space to run. He will move through the top and just focus down the Zealot, which is a, turns out to be a great move because that was the lower HP Zealot. And he manages to kill that with only losing one marine now i think this zealot will just run in and try to focus down one injured scv no he's not even going to get that now four marines are out here we can halt that marine production start a bunker out in the front and get this cc going uh, i really do think he needs a bunker here because the marines are so low right now uh, a dragoon could actually pick off a lot of them so He's going to try and deal a little damage here to the Dragoon. And this is this is great play by Flash because the uh, Vulture does 20 damage, but it does, doesn't do... Uh, it does like half damage, I think, or quarter damage versus the actual HP of the Dragoon because of the armor and because of the damage type. But it does full damage against the shield. So he just shaves off the shields and then runs away. Vulture here almost gets blocked and killed. But it will end up escaping. And the Dragoon's going to try and track this down. He, he's probably going to lose this, honestly. Dragoon, yeah, coming around the bottom side or the top one. Around the top side. Bottom one, going to be pincering here. And we will actually kill that first Vulture. So that's a big loss. We also lost two Marines here to the Dragoon. So some things going right right now for 
noob, but Flash is safe. He's got a CC. DT play going to be the choice here from noob. Let's see when we actually get an eBay or a Academy because that could change the fates here. An armory and an Academy coming down. He's going to rely on scans. And if he scans the main or the natural uh, and doesn't see this, or if he scans and sees it, but then he doesn't have energy for a second scan, he might be in really big trouble. Yeah, no turret going to come up here. So he might also wait a little bit to build these uh, commsats, or he might only build one commsat to try and optimize further. Let's see what Flash does here. DTs are being made right now. They are on the way. Well, running forward here. He's going to try and gun down one of the tanks. He gets one of the tanks just diving forward on top of that. He gets two tanks. Wait a second, noob. Suddenly in a great position here after diving on top of the bunker. Can he get a third tank? Four. Oh, no, no, no. One more shot. He only needs one more hit. He does get it. Four tanks. No, three tanks went down. Three tanks went down there, and he's out of range of the bunker. He will lose all the dragoons, of course. But, I mean, it's totally worth it right now. Absolutely worth doing a little damage to that bunker. Meanwhile, we didn't make commsats. This is very good calculated play here from Noob. The dive here completely distracted uh, Flash. He didn't build the commsats despite building the academy. He built the academy for a reason, guys. It wasn't just to not build commsats. He wanted commsats, but he didn't build them. And now... He's lost a bunch of tanks and the DTs in his base. And he lost the other tank. GG. Noob takes him down. Some very, very good play here from Noob. I love it. The dive in, super calculated. Um, if there was a turret here, he could have absolutely focused that down as well. Um, but just coming in, getting on top of the tanks, dealing that damage uh, before uh, Flash was ready. And distracting him away from making these commsats right as the DTs come across the map. I mean, even if this doesn't work, even if this doesn't kill, he can take this Nexus and just chill. He's got nothing back at home, right? No dragoons. He sacked everything. He lost all his dragoons, all his zealots. But he can safely take this because he has DTs on the map. And there's just not a great source of detection right now for the Terran players. So... As long as he's got the DTs, as long as he keeps them alive, even if they don't kill, um, he's going to be dealing with them. He's going to be distracted by them. He's not going to be able to come out and punish this Nexus. So I really like how Noob played this out. I'm glad he got a win here. But you can see maybe a little bit of rust still on Flash. He was looking really great in the last couple of games, but this one, you can see... Getting a little bit overconfident, maybe. And a little bit distracted. Not building the commsats. Uh, not fully handling the, the detection problem of Terran in the early game. Uh, the mines. I think, you know what? What might have happened is that he lost that vulture. And he just started building tanks. He's like, I'm not even going to get mines. Because I lost my early vulture. Um, it's not as worth. It's not as efficient. Let's just go for a bunch of tanks. We'll get commsats to deal with the uh, DTs. And we'll get faster into, you know, our upgrades and all that stuff. But unfortunately, he didn't build that all-important commsat. And he ends up getting brutally punished. GG here. Let's jump into our next game. Noob getting a tasty tactical victory there in that last game with some DTs. And Flash says, so that's how you want to play it. You want to play games? Let's play here on Radeon for our next map. Let's see what Flash is going to pull out here. He's already got the Supply Depot right next to the CC. Just optimizing the position where the SCVs pop out. Rather than right there, they're going to pop out right there. Helps out just a tad bit, but every millisecond matters when it comes to uh, the incredible level that these guys are playing at. You can see 330 APM to the 500. I saw Flash earlier playing 
against Jadong. He was playing like 500 APM. Um, but maybe taking it a little easier here against the uh, lesser known player, Noob. I don't know if uh, these, you know, Noob and Jadong have played a lot of games against each other. I don't know how they stack up against each other. But, um, you know, Noob, he is definitely not a Noob. He's not like a, a new player by any means. It's just a name, guys. He is a very accomplished and highly ranked player, but uh, he doesn't... He's not like a Hall of Famer or anything like that. Um, I definitely haven't seen him in the ASL for a while. I think the last one was season 12, if I remember correctly. I might be wrong about that, but... Let's see what he's got here. What he can pull out in this game. No early Zealot this time. So he's actually switching up his play uh, pretty dramatically. He's not going for early pressure this uh, on this map. He's not going to try and send out the really early probe to try and harass. To follow up with the Zealot to uh, get some damage here on Flash. Instead, he's going to fall back on a much more uh, normal and tried and true path, which is... Uh, very early uh, range with the uh, Dragoon popping out. Just deal with the SCV uh, that'll be scouting him. And immediately go into a Nexus here on a bare minimum defense. He should be able to block the SCV from coming in. Oh man, that was a little bit a little bit rough there. Noob actually not going to get that last shot. So the SCV going to get all the way to the back and see the Cybernetic score spinning. Flash knows everything. Nexus here at the front. Vulture expansion here from Flash. This is a very modern style. He does get the bunker here pretty quickly. Because he's built a bare minimum number of Marines. Just two. Which is not going to be able to fight this early Dragoon. But the Vulture out here will just force some caution out of Noob. So, might have been able to get away with the no bunker, but... Flash going to go with that for safety. Uh, I think we are going to see Mines immediately. And there it is. Mines begins. Is he going to make more Vultures here? Resting on factory production for a little bit. What are we going to see out of Flash next? Is it going to be a quick Armory? Dipping in. Just finding that Command Center. A very quick Armory here. Tank does start. Just keeping his SCV, SCV production constant. And the mines are going to get laid. Where is he going to place these? Is he going to go for the third base? The Dragoon is already headed to that location. He doesn't want to allow that to happen. And place this Dragoon over here maybe and just try to catch the Vulture as it's coming in. Make sure that that mine doesn't go down in an unfortunate location. So it will get placed in between the Dragoon and his retreat path. Ooh, he's going to eat that. That is unfortunate. And the Marines and Tank are actually going to come out here to try and finish. This is a sick move from Flash. He's not intending to push uh, this too much further, but he gets a, a Dragoon there in a really slick way. He knew that he was going to be able to get that mine to connect. So having the Dragoon and... Oh, actually, he's going to push all the way in here. Wait a minute. Um... That's a little bit scary. I don't want to be losing that tank right now. All right, don't don't try this at home, kids. That was a little bit uh, a little bit wild there from Flash. I'm gonna push all the way in. Maybe he suspected there might be only like one gateway or something. Maybe a third too quickly, but that's certainly not the case. Um, the move though, it still remains absolutely sick. Coming in behind with the mine, laying it down. And bringing the tank and, and marine to just catch that one dragoon. Really, really well done. And so we've got an advantage for Flash once again. Just playing out the early game so spectacularly. Even though it doesn't look amazing. Let me tell you, this is fantastic from Flash. Ooh, does eat that mine. A bit of Miss Micro there. But now we have the Observer out here. Noob getting a little bit antsy. Wanting to clear that mine as quickly as possible. Not even waiting for the Observer to come out here to clear. 
You can see that he might be a little bit flustered. What is the point of trying so hard to clear that mine when your observer is just seconds away? Double factory right now, just pumping out some units. We're getting our upgrades rolling. Flash is feeling nice and comfortable. He doesn't have an eBay once again, but this time he's got mines and of course the commsats. You definitely want a couple of sources of detection, which was missing from the previous game, right? He didn't have uh, eBay and he didn't have mines. He was only going into commsats and he was delayed, which what is what lost him that game. Very early starport here. It's right on time though for oh, a little bit off time actually. You want to start at about halfway, uh, finish the upgrade, but you know it's still pretty darn good. He's gonna have a very fast plus two uh, with this timing coming through, and the CC is gonna be started. Hmm, is he gonna be able to take that third base right away, or is he just gonna use this for additional SCV production on two factory? The common knowledge these days is you just can't really make it happen. You can't really take a third CC on just two factories. It's not really going to be possible um, unless your opponent did something like a fast Nexus and then you control the map with mines and they don't have observer. Maybe you could try that that type of thing like a, a chart build, but that's not the situation we're here. We've already got the observer um, third factory on the way here. Science facility, of course. Generally, these days, with the uh, prominence of Reaver and the, the fact that you know Snow's kind of led the way recently and shown us how to break Terran players with the shuttles and Reavers in the uh, early to mid game, it's more common now than ever to see f five factories before a push to try and take this third base. Now, he's going to move forward with three. Is that going to be enough? Is Flash a little bit behind the uh, current understanding of the game to where he won't be able to hold this? That was a great Reaver shot. A second great Reaver shot comes through. The four Goliaths are fantastic against the shuttle, but he's not actually targeted down the Reaver here, and he's just going to get completely shut down. Ooh, this is, this is nasty right now. Flash is in a, a kind of a desperate situation here. He is going to... Be able to pull away these SCVs. Not going to lose any uh, SCVs in this exchange. But the damage has already been dealt, guys. Ah, he takes one shot on the Reaver, which is not optimal. But we've slowed down this third base by a heck of a lot now. He's pushing out with two tanks. Two tanks right now. We've got more Zealots. There's no turret here. Well, there is not one yet anyway. He can actually pick off this uh, SCV if he comes a little closer. I think we just see him just drop on top of this. If he drops right here, he can drag the mine even. Yeah. Oh. Does he have a second zealot? He doesn't, but he baits the... Oh, no! He lost the uh, Reaver there without getting a shot off. I don't think he's going to break this now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait a second. I really thought he was going to be able to break that and definitely... Noob thought he was too, but he just kind of botched that attack and, you know, he did it really, really well. He came in with the Dragoons to force the fire from the tanks onto the Dragoons so that he could drop the Reaver and get the shot, but the Vultures all targeting the Reaver at the same time, and since it took that one extra shot, it was so low, the Vultures end up killing it. Really, really uh, unfortunate there. Super unfortunate. Oh, man. I feel bad for... A little bit bad for Noob right now. He has double expanded in the top left. But, I mean, Flash is going to get up to five factories now. He's on three bases. This is looking scary. This is like a textbook... 2024 denial of the third base here. Three factories? You're just not really allowed to do that anymore. Diving in to the main base? There's nothing here. Oh my gosh. Are we going to see a huge hit? Wait, what? Is he going to get anything? Oh my god. These are all going to dud. Every single reaver shot just dudded here. Let's pick up in time at least to get away from this. 
But what is he going to do with the uh, Reavers right now? Can he actually get another shot off? Okay, he gets another couple shots. Picks up the Reavers once again. This one almost dead, though. Going to drop back here. Is he going to go for the... Um, okay, he's just going to lose the Reavers. Man, this is not going well. Oh, dude. Noob having a really hard time right now. This is a really open main base, but... Flash getting back in here with his tanks and vultures and targeting really, really well onto those Reavers. Just excellent, excellent play out of him. I'm going to build a turret down here to just eventually take care of these two shuttles. That Reaver's going to be picked off here pretty soon. It is pretty open right there. Definitely a good spot to fly in. Oh, yeah, we're going to lose that. Both of those shuttles go down without dropping the Reaver, unfortunately. He's going to unsiege everything and go back out. Wants to put everything together here to make sure this defense holds. Uh, despite, you know, holding on to this point, he still did lose a lot of tanks uh, to that initial attack as he was trying to take his third. He lost like five tanks or something like that. So his tank count still a little bit low. But it's building. It's getting stronger and stronger here. Storm is on the way. Vulture's going to start to run around. See what they can't pick off. Dragoons are here, ready to fight. And Noob not going to allow any harassment to happen. 73 probes now. <sighs> Ooh, man. Oh, boy. This is going to be a scary Protoss. Now, it's not, un not impossible. It's not... Um, unwinnable here for Flash. It's definitely winnable. But Noob has another main right now. He's got another rally point to work with here. Soon he should be throwing down a bunch of gateways. He's already got quite a few at home. It's time to start setting up more gates here in the top left and setting up that rally point. But once he's got that ready, oh, he's going double Stargate right now. I'm going to keep an eye on Flash's vision right here. See when he spots that. Gateway is now finally being added on here in the top left. Where are these Stargates? There's one. And there's the other. Oh, yeah. Double shuttle production as well here for Robo, uh, two Robos. Hmm. When are we going to see a Storm Drop? That should be coming in soon as well. There it is. Storm Drop being loaded up. Lots of shuttles here ready. Let's see, did he scan that? No, he scans top left. What are these two Stargates going to be for? Is it going to be that carrier transition or will we be popping out uh, Arbiters here soon? Scan at the front. Here comes the four shuttles. He's going to try and break this. Zealot's dropping on top of a lot of these tanks. Storm here on the right hand side. More storms are going to be thrown out here in a moment. This is a great location to storm right now. Does he have the energy to do so? Does he have the Templar right now? He does not. Everything was unloaded down here. Not the greatest execution from Noob. And this gets completely shut down. Uh-oh. Flash is going to come out now. Uh, Pull back, Noob. Pull back. Okay. Good stuff. Maybe time for another CC here. Flash at 165 supply. Looking scary. Going to start to shove forward. Zealot's coming up here, but good targeting from Flash. He's just focusing down the Dragoons here on the side. Ooh, big, big storms. Dealing a lot of damage, really softening up this army. You can see a lot of those tanks are very low right now. But the army is small. More rallies coming out of both locations here. As Observers has enough Dragoons to fight the Vultures and clear the mines. And we're not going to see Flash just push straight in right now. He's actually going to take this fourth base. Prudent decision here from Flash. As his full upgrade mech has not quite kicked in yet. Slowly moving forward. Really utilizing this barrier here. This natural barrier. With his tanks wrapping around that. Very hard to get on top of with the Zealot army. More shuttles coming out. Shuttles making that not as much of a problem. When Zealots are loaded up, they can be dropped on that easily. Not a lot of anti-air here. One Goliath, one Missile Turret. Can we get in there and actually 
uh, just drop on top of this big group of tanks. A lot of them are very low. It could be really strong to just bomb that. Uh, especially good is just bombing before you actually go in for the attack. Because you might force a bunch of uh, tanks to unsiege. And he's going to go for it here. Diving in on top of all this. The Zealot Bombs are coming through. We got Templar as well. Whoa, the storms are insanely good. Zealot's just overrunning the position right now. More tanks and vultures are rallying out. Flash's Mike, or macro on full display here. He actually cleans everything. Wow. So many vultures coming out and tanks coming as well. He's just going to push forward. Dude, Flash. Absolutely insane with the macro, man. It looked like he was clearing out that tank army and trading pretty well with the storms, but Flash is now on the advance. He's just coming down here towards the natural and he's taking out bases in the top left as well at the same time. Picking off some of these uh, science vessels here. Good trade by Noob, but he's going to lose all the probes at his natural. While well, meanwhile, this space down here is mining healthily. We haven't seen any storm drops on the economy of Flash, which means he's at 65 SCVs total. He's feeling very good right now. Pushing forward to pick off this Nexus. He's got the containment here, but there is, as we talked about earlier, another rally point to work with here for a noob. Just pure zealots popping out, but they will deal with the vultures over here on this side. Splitting off a couple of tanks. Just deal with this uh, Nexus. Should be able to pick that off in no time flat. More zealots being loaded up here, but that's a lot of vultures. If you just drop zealots on top of this army, the vultures are going to eat it up pretty quickly. Zealots dropped on top of this is a little bit better, but as you can see, the vultures brought down to just deal with that while the tanks are targeted onto the dragoons as they come down the ramp. Perfect execution here from Flash, not taking hardly any damage from his tanks onto his own units, making sure that he's constantly targeting the uh, furthest away army units, which is generally the dragoons. Those are going to take the most damage as well while the vultures clear up everything else. Here comes our first Templar drop. No, no Templar in here. Instead, just a lot of Zealots. And the Zealots, I mean, Vultures are already here, dude. We're going to clear this up easily with just pure Vulture. So well handled here by Flash. He's just not going to let anything slip by right now. No real damage done. He kills two bases. And he's actually hitting inside the main as well. Oh, all the forges are going to go down. Looks like the upgrade's going to get denied as well. That is rough. 2-1 only to the 3-3 three, three here of Flash. Another base over in the top right. And Noob just doesn't have the army to actually deal with more bases coming up here for Flash right now. He's barely got enough to fight for his uh, fresh base over here at the center left. And in fact, that's going to go down as well. His other rally point is about to get contained. We've got another drop over here. Looks like we might have done some damage with that, but it's not going to matter in the slightest. Noob taps out. What a crazy game here. Flash just all over this Protoss player. After doing a pretty risky expansion play, trying to take the third with only three factories, which really isn't supposed to work, he walks the tightrope and manages to get this base up. And somehow, some way, survive the follow up attacks from Noob, which really on paper should have broken him. If it was a. I'd love to see, I, I really can't wait to see Flash play against uh, Snow. When he meets up with Snow, you guys know that I will be on top of that. I'll be the first one casting those games. Because, I mean, that type of play right there, what we just saw, I don't think it works versus Snow. I just, I think that he tears you apart. Like, he truly will eviscerate a Terran who's trying to take a base like that. You need five facts. And you have to target down the shuttles as 
uh, the fights going on or you will just be smashed down over and over again and never allowed to take a third base uh, or your third will be so late that the entire rest of the map will be taken by snow by that point noob did manage to get these two bases up online but i don't know if he kind of slipped on the macro or if some of these fights just didn't go well enough he kind of got overwhelmed here by flash and i think this is the end of our noob replays guys we're gonna jump into our last game i believe which is going to be uh versus motive the 2700 player guys don't go away that final game is coming up next all right up next we've got motive spawning here in the bottom left hand corner versus flash and you know flash able to dunk on a 2500 pretty easily in noob 2500 mmr but can he do the same against this player right here who is currently 2700 he's like top five on the ladder right now and uh, if you exclude draw packers of course but he is right up there with just an insane score he's been grinding out like crazy motive is like a superstar right now on ladder if he can convert that into uh, asl gameplay i'm sure he could do very very well he hasn't been able to uh get super deep in uh, tournaments like the asl as of late but he certainly has the potential to do so and he's a great test here for flash to see how he will handle some of these really strong protoss players like this is no mini this is no snow but this is a strong protoss opponent for flash to test his metal here and we're going uh, on citadel which i may remind you noob got pretty smashed here flash really seemed to know what he was doing and how to abuse this map so we may see more of the same it is cross map no nexus first though just a standard play from motive he's in ladder mode right now and you play a little different honestly on ladder than you ever would in a tournament setting uh, for the most part you're gonna play pretty standard uh, if you ever want to get a high score like what motive has managed to achieve 2700 you have to be really good at very standard play and handling all of the cheeses that are going to get thrown at you because you're going to see basically everything everything and anything that's possible to to do in every matchup that's what's going to get thrown at you and you'll have to have just such solid understanding of the game and macro and uh you know just standard play uh, that you can handle everything and be in a good position you're not going to get 2700 by being cheesy every single game that's that's not going to be the case like somebody people are going to figure you out even if you're on a barcode they're eventually going to recognize your barcode and know that this is just what you do and they're going to be able to uh counter it with just solid macro play and and you're never going to make it quite as deep as this so perfectly standard play here out of motive thus far he doesn't catch the SUV unfortunately so that's going to get a full scout I sees it now I definitely think the dragon saw that um as it was walking past but maybe motive was paying attention to stream or something else was going on um so that's this SUV is going to get a full scout I might even get out of here as well uh, yeah, it will because we don't have range and this is on a mineral command. So it's just going to path all the way back home. And unlikely this dragon's going to be able to catch up. Well, it, it doesn't actually head straight back home. Maybe if it catches some edges and uh, range is going to finish up soon. Yeah, he could probably catch that eventually. Factory is up. I think this is another gasless fast expand. Hold on, I wasn't paying too much attention to what Flash was up to, but yeah, this is a gasless fast expand here. Thinking a little bit too deeply, guys. I apologize. We've got 
Machine shop. Academy armory. All right. So I'm going to go for, once again, the commsat detection set. But he doesn't have mines just yet. Is he going to go mines right away? Tank. No mines. A little bit risky here from Flash. You guys know what happened uh, when this was against Noob. But as you can see, Motive. I mean, he's playing just typical standard Protoss 101 right now. Not doing anything tricky whatsoever. And Flash did get a pretty good look in his base, so he kind of knows. Kind of knows what he's up against here. It's unlikely to be uh, a DT play. And so he's cutting a lot of corners. He does have the double comm sat, but he's saving the energy on that. Gonna wait for maybe 100 energy before he even throws down a scan so that he's got, you know, backup scans here with no other form of detection. It's a bit of a necessity right now. But he's got a good amount of SCVs. Look at that. 36 SCVs. Just 33 probes. Really, really well done here. Great macro. And kind of punishing the... Totally standard play out of motive. Six minute. Third base here. Well, a little bit earlier than that, actually. Maybe five minute 30. Pretty quick third base here. Out of motive on just three uh, Dragoons, which is the absolute bare minimum. But, you know, Flash is taking advantage of the fact that uh, he imagines that motive is just going to play safe here. By cutting a lot of corners in terms of his detection. And there it is. He does throw down double scans and... Just after he has enough for two more scans. Just to be safe. But also, Motive is taking advantage of the fact that Flash is playing so defensive. And, you know, getting into tanks so quickly, he's going to go ahead and grab his third base really, really early. And maybe even a fourth now. Maybe he'll go for another, uh, another base on very few gateways well he adds two more two more gateways come down here and he will have that reaver soon but i think this is going to be a purely defensive reaver both players powering hard right now really really hard here engineering bay coming up third factory is it going to be another push out on three fact he sees the main four gateways and another Nexus here. This is a fast third Nexus. Our fourth Nexus, man. 750. He throws down the fourth Nexus. Both players turning on the hyper speed here. Boosting forward into the next stage of the game. Science facility going to finish even before that plus one is done. So he will have plus two immediately started once that's uh, finished. The timing will be very crisp here for that plus two. Second armory coming as well. You like to see it in the natural too. That's a pretty sweet little spot for that second armory. He'll probably start attack on this. Actually, that would be a really good idea. Start attack here and armor here. Is he going to do it? I'm not starting it. Do you have money? All right, we're a little bit low on minerals right now. Trying to push forward here. Slowly against the Reaver. Where'd the shuttle go? Um, did it, Wait, did the shuttle get picked off? Oh my god, the shuttle must have gone down. Diving forward here right now. Oh no, there it is. It went back for a second Reaver. He's throwing down Reaver shots on this. Ooh, boy. This is going to get shut down pretty hard right now. He does lose the Reaver, but he's going to kill even more tanks. Okay, there's another tank in the back there, Motive. Motive. All right, he's going to back up. Dive forward once again. Uh, Reaver's here. Going to be sacrificial. He does get another tank. Can he get one more shot? He does. 
but it doesn't kill the tank. Wow, that survives with three HP. And I guess he's gonna get this third base. Hey, I mean, Flash fights for the third and he manages to get it. Um, this is again, okay, this time four facts. So four factory, he manages to get the third out. Pretty reasonable, pretty reasonable here. Um, for Flash. Again, I wonder if he could make this work against Snow. Snow is just like a whole other animal, I think. I feel like you can't do this. Like, you need five factories versus him to get past those Reavers, but I might be delusional. Who knows? We've got some turrets coming up here. Supply Depot in the top left. That's kind of funny. We start armor, actually, in the natural... I would have liked to see attack here. It's way more important to get the attack. Um, and the main is just way more likely to be dropped. It's super hard to kill this armory. It's very easy to come back and defend. So having the more important upgrade uh, going at this armory, I feel like might be better, but it's Flash, man. I'm sure he's doing the optimal thing. More shuttles, more dragoons, more uh, zealots coming in here. Zealot leg speed is almost done. You'll probably want to wait for that, but... I don't know. Let's see what he does here. Motive looks at this. He sees all the mines. He can definitely clear the mines. Uh, no problem. I'm going to force the unsiege right now. The mines can mostly go down. He keeps two tanks sieged up just to make sure that uh, not all of the mines get cleared here. Zealot speed getting near completion. This base down in the bottom right is done and gateways are getting added on. Another nexus here. Potentially another nexus going down over here. Motive is growing at a scary rate right now. But the... Uh, Upgrades for Flash are ticking along, and the factory count is starting to explode. A very good amount of factories here are now ready. Three machine shops. One for each gas that's available to the Terran right now. Will he take the fourth here at the front before moving forward? It looks like he will. Doesn't have the tanks on this uh, wall. Just yet. He might move some, though, to that position. We saw him in a previous game on Citadel have the tanks here. Like, right out of range of the wall. Like, dragons shooting over the wall. But uh, in a great spot to defend. Pretty passive game so far from Flash. But he's got his bases on curve. And he's... Really getting those upgrades, that upgrade timing going very, very quickly. Now at 160 supply, he's ready to take a fight against a 200-200 army. He doesn't want to take it too quickly here. He's not like in a rush to take this attack or to take this fight because he's got more upgrades coming. But here we go. Motive getting eaten up by a lot of these mines. Zealot's gonna dive on top of the tanks here. Dragoons clearing out a lot of this. He's gonna run Zealots into the mines. Storm at the back on those tanks. But there's still a lot of vultures here. You can see how well Flash just conserves his vulture count. He's really good at keeping his vultures alive in these fights. Oh, that was a great shot with the tanks as well. Great target there. The vultures are going to take fights with the uh, Zealots. But you can see there's just too many Vultures. They're going to eat these Zealots up. And the Dragoons will definitely deal with this small number of Drag... Uh, this, these tanks will deal with these small number of Dragoons as a follow-up. Dude, Flash is just handling these attacks so well. It's so much harder than it looks, honestly. He's targeting the, the tanks onto the Dragoons every time consistently. Uh, he's... Targeting the the vultures onto the or just placing them in a position where they'll always hit the zealots And then as the zealots start to break through Or as the zealots like get right on top of everything He's really kiting well with the vultures and keeping the majority of them alive 
Uh, whereas a lot of players, a lot of Terrans will have the mines like fly into the vultures and just destroy everything or uh, the zealots will get on top of them and the tanks will shoot the zealots and then the vultures will just explode. He's really keeping his vultures alive nicely. Now he's diving in and killing some Templar as well. Dude. That's the exact same position he used against a noob in that other game, man. He knows this is the right spot to be here as the Terran. Right up against that wall there. Now his tanks are very, very stacked up. Pretty good D matrix there. Good storm as well, but we don't have that much. Motive is running out of army right now. Good storm there in the back line. Still staying alive right now, keeping this base healthy. Another siege tank though gets into range and I don't know if we have enough right now for motive to break this. Look at that, just setting up all along this ridge line. So perfectly done here. But there's no anti-air, hold on. Zealots are gonna kill this. <laughs> yeah, the zealots are just gonna wreck this. We got vultures over here, but where are the vultures for the rest of the army? The tanks just get wiped out. And the dragoons can clear the vultures here. So I guess he'll just back off and wait. Oh, 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 vultures are gonna get in here. We've got 76 probes, but that number is gonna drop drastically here in a moment as a lot of probes die at the six o'clock. 10 more zealots are in production. More zealots are gonna be dropped on top of this army, not focusing on the dragoons anymore with the tanks and the vultures are not here to help out. There's another rally of vultures making its way down here. It's gonna try and focus the Nexus maybe, but all the tanks have been cleared. All right, a win here for Motive. Motive not going to just topple here. Like our previous Protoss, he is gonna fight to the bitter end and he is gonna save this Nexus. With just 146 HP, that was very close to going down. He loses the Science Vessel as well. More tanks that are rallied across the map get picked off. Uh-oh. Flash is not expanded. He's not continuing to grow right now. He's focusing on actually taking out bases here of Motive, but Motive still has 67 workers. Even though he lost a ton down at six o'clock, he's rebuilt a lot of them. And he's just had a lot. He just built a lot of probes in this game. So he's still got plenty to work with. He hasn't transferred all of them down here to the bottom right just yet, but he's got this mining once again. Flash gonna take center right. Can he actually hold that base? That's a great staging ground to attack bottom right here. But it might be broken now by motive. He's coming forward. Dropping the zealots here inside of all of these mine, the minefields here and on top of the tanks. Go for the storm. He doesn't have the storm here. Okay, there it is. First storm, second storm. Really, really good here by motive, but more tanks coming down. The rallies, the endless rallies of tanks are doing very well, but that's a lot of storm. Holy, it's like a PVZ right now with the amount of storm that's here. There's so many Templar, but it does a pretty good job of cleaning up the reinforcement line. I think these Archons are not long for this world though. Indeed, they will get picked off. Not a lot of supply left, but he's still ahead of Flash. Flash gonna transfer some workers to the center right already. Has everything rallied to this point, I guess. Everything, well, I guess not. He's actually got everything here at the rally point instead. Time to bring all that down. I really do need that for this next stage. Because I think this will be the target. This bottom right hand corner. Meanwhile, Motive taking center left. He's going to expand over to top left as well. Uh, unfortunately for Flash, he didn't put a Vulture or anything up there. He's got one over here. But is that going to be able to pick off this probe? That would be huge if it does. Yeah, it gets the probe. That's big. Um, if he'd been able to come up here and just start laying down cannons and stuff and start a Nexus. Would have been a little bit rough for Flash, but gonna send more probes over here to the center right. We'll eventually get some units over there to deal with that. Running one Zealot through the middle just to clear mines and try to scout a little bit. More Vulture's gonna be sent to the top left and he's not gonna let this go 
without a fight. I'm gonna make sure that he can uh, deal with any attacks over there. Or deal with any probes that are being sent to, to claim a base in that area. That's a lot of vultures, and they are 3 3 now. Setting up for a big attack here in the middle. But it's looking like uh, Flash is ready for that. He's kind of ready on all fronts right now. On five bases, he can last for quite a long time here. And his army is nigh unstoppable. It is very, very scary right now. Look at him fighting against Zealots here straight up. Just, just gunning them down. One storm going to be thrown down just to cut through those vultures. And he loses a couple of Templar. A couple of Templar do end up going down. A CC making its way to the top left. That is not a safe CC, but it might go unscouted. I don't have anything over there for motive. At least not yet. He actually needs to secure top left. Um, if he wants to win this game eventually. That is going to be a necessity. Because Flash doesn't have to leave this game for a very long time. Like he is not going to mine out for a good minute here. And by minute, I mean like 10 minutes. Oh my goodness. Big SCV kills here. These Templar are getting a lot of kills. 10 kill Templar. A great storm here on these tanks as well. More storm just getting laid down on a lot of these tanks that are coming over here. Vultures do manage to get in over on this uh, center or middle base here. The mineral only. I don't know how many... Uh, probes they killed, but I imagine it's quite a few. Dropping to 64 to 61. So both players taking some damage, but this base here in the top left going to be found as Flash pushes towards the bottom right. Now we don't have a base in the top left just yet, so I'm a little bit worried uh, about Motive losing this base here, but he's doing a good job with Storms to just take the best trades possible. At the outset here, will he have the army to actually deal with this attack, though? It's looking scary right now, and it appears that he's going to go for a counter, but how important is this base over here at 12 o'clock? I don't really think it's that impactful. Maybe he can take a probe up to top left and take that base uh, while this chaos is going on. I'm not sure if that's going to work out well for him, though. Dropping Zealots on top of these tanks. I'm gonna try and break this position. Now there's no tanks over at 12 o'clock. And the storms are pretty good. So it looks like he will be able to break 12. Getting a little bit too much damage from this tank. Gotta finish that off. There we go. He does kill that tank. Not gonna break into bottom right. But he killed two bases. Flash did. More storms coming out here. As... Motive tries to get in to that 12 o'clock, but he's not really able to get in there. There's only about six Dragoons left over. A lot of them are very badly injured. And, oh, there's a tank back here. I didn't even see that one. He's got two kills and three now. Kind of a sneaky spot to be putting that tank. Um, I don't know where these are going, but going on a walk, I suppose. That's a kind of an interesting location to be rallied to. Motive here has not secured top left. This is getting a bit scary now. Flash killed two bases. And he didn't lose really anything aside from some of his uh, army. Ooh, the EMP. That was a big EMP. Motive was counting on storms to kind of slow down this army. But after that EMP goes down, really, what does he have left? Just a few scattered gateway units and a couple of shuttles. Is that really going to be enough? All right. We've got storms here over in the center right. That's going to kill quite a few of these SCVs, but not all. And meanwhile, Flash is going to kill center left. So a trade of bases right now. Who does this favor? I feel like it might favor motive a little bit. You know, there's not a lot of places where Flash can mine. He's almost mined out in his third. 
His mineral only is about to go down as well. But he can float his CC away. And he gets most of his SCVs out. Whereas all the probes are going to die. And the Nexus is gone. So, hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure who this is favoring right now. We're slightly ahead in overall supply. Honestly, it's just kind of the tech. The tech difference right now is where a lot of this goes to. Ooh, wait a minute. A lot of zealots here getting on top uh, of these tanks. Where did all these zealots come from? It's just suddenly appeared. And there's just not enough vultures to deal with all these. So the zealots are actually going to start to kill the vultures. Great uh, kiting here with the vultures to just get the absolute maximum value out of these. Now not doing quite as well. I'd like to target down the High Templar if possible, but Motive is starting to push through. He's pushed back this command center again, and he's killing more and more tanks. He's going through the middle. There's a huge army on the left-hand side, though. Where is that when you need it here? He's just not back at home actually able to defend. Three more tanks pop out. More vultures here are going to be uh, pushing forward, but wait a minute. That's so many Templar. Can he hold with just pure Templar? Against all these tanks, wow, so many storms here. Finally, an EMP goes down, but all the tanks die. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. I think Motive might have done it. Look at that, below 100 supply. It's not much better uh, for Motive, but he is getting some great storms here. Getting some excellent value out of those. Now bringing forward Archons. They're not the greatest. But might be able to soak some tank hits. <clears throat> Potentially fight a few uh, vultures, maybe. A lot of the supply right now is in Archons. A lot of the army supply, I mean. He's still got 41 probes. But this is becoming pretty insane, guys. We are just mining on mineral onlys right now for Flash. He is close to... I mean, one gas mining. He actually pulled one of his CCs, this one right here, I think, to get another mining base going. Now, this is about as close as it gets right now. Clearing out some more turrets over on this side. Archon's dealing with mines. You hardly ever see it, but there it is. Unfortunately, the observer is not present, so I'm not going to be able to deal with... Oh, there's the observers. Over on that side. Oh, a great storm there. Actually dealing quite a bit of damage. Maybe he can kill all these SCVs. Ooh, dealing a lot of damage to the SCVs there. Archons can fight pretty well versus the Vultures, but they do deal full damage against the uh, Archons. Shuttle coming in. Storm drop. Can he get the big storm here to actually finish off the vast majority of the SCVs. He's not going over to this base. Where it... Uh, we gotta go to this base. There's so many damaged SCVs over here. It's a perfect target right now for Motive. But he just hasn't spotted it. It's actually gonna go for... Wait, what are we doing right now? Oh, Vulture's down here. Trying to get some more probe kills. I think Motive's gonna win this, guys. I think he's just barely gonna make it happen. Going after the SCVs. Mining here at the mineral only. A lot of those are getting picked off. Picks up the Zealot once again. He's got all the Templars still alive right now. Tanks are covering this CC and the mining for a moment here. But how are we doing on mining for motive? Well, he's got one fresh base. This is about to mine out. This is mined out. It's uh, two base mining to two base mining. But there's a lot less gas here for Flash. Which could be of concern. There's only two SCVs mining gas right now over at 12 o'clock. So he's going to be max uh, putting out mostly vultures. SCVs mining here, but that is mined out. So depleted gas and one gas. Um, It's not a lot of gas to work with, man. He can afford to make, like, one tank at a time, really. I know he's got two going right now, but... There's just hardly anything in production here for Flash. 
So few SCVs, just 28. Still not that many probes though. Motive. Gonna get some great storms here. That's some good value. He's got a lot of gas coming in, by the way. A lot of mined out gases, but he does have some gas in the bottom right. He hasn't taken this one yet, but he doesn't seem to be suffering uh, for lack of gas here at all with the number of Templars he's able to push out. Certainly seems that he has enough to work with. And is he just going to win straight up with Storm here? Archon, Dragoon, Templar. I mean, what a composition for the end of this game. Good focus fire on some of these Templar. That's really all it takes at a point like this. Uh, is just some really good targets on a few of those important Templar, important units. And suddenly the potency of the Protoss army just disappears. Dre Dark Templar coming out right now. Let's start to make those. Ooh, that storm was nasty. Six kills right there. And what does Flash really have left? 17 workers. GG, he gets them. Whoa, motive. What an excellent game from this guy. Flash putting up a real hell of a fight though. Dude. Flash is looking really good. I mean, if this is what he looks like when he just comes back, how great is he going to look as time goes on, man? How great is he going to look when he's fully prepared for ASL? It's going to be scary. Truly frightening to see what uh, heights Flash can fly, what heights Flash can accomplish uh, given a bit of practice time uh, here on ladder and also of course in customs and in some of these smaller tournaments as well. I'm really looking forward to how he grows and changes, guys. If you're going to be following Flash as well, want to see his progress, make sure to hit the subscribe button and follow along with me. Guys, thank you so much for watching here today. Um, I went on a bit more of a tangent than I usually do at the end of each of these games, just kind of talking about the strategy and, uh, you know, what was happening with Flash and, and Noob and, and how Flash is reacting to these things. But that's really what Flash's games deserve. A little extra dissection. We really need to dive in and really pull this guy apart because he has so much thought behind every single one of his moves in these games uh he's not really playing on autopilot i think that's what sets him apart from uh, a lot of other players is that he is at that level where his autopilot is so good in terms of just macroing and getting all of his stuff going that he is very very cognizant of everything that he's doing he's able to really think clearly about every single one of his moves and play it out to perfection. Uh, unfortunately, not able to take this game away. But honestly, Motive played a fantastic game. Maybe the the one uh, thing that was lacking in this game. We, we saw a few EMPs, but not a lot of vultures running around the map. And looking for Templar. A lot of the Templar were just kind of uh, rallied across the map. And then they would arrive at the tail end of the fight or as the fight was going on and just cast their storms and get a lot of value um if you're throwing down mines everywhere that can't really happen as much and just running around killing vault or killing templar is kind of a must against a company uh composition like this from motive but that's like the only thing i can think of right now guys everything else was done really really well here just motive was able to get more value out of his storms and Flash just not able to push through. Kind of crazy. Can't wait to see more games from this guy. Can't wait again to see him play against uh, true legends like Snow and Mini and them. Really looking forward to those games, guys. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.